Welcome back. This is Yam and Jack. We got evacuation point, suicidal gunslinger. Let's go. Drink some water. Do it before you start hitting record. You you say? Do it do it before you hit the record button. You say you want me to get the water in before I start recording, especially if I'm gonna be drinking like five seconds after hitting record. Look, it's a good point that you rise. Who is this mysterious monster? It's a good point. It's it's a it's a very good point. The the issue here. Is that uh, if I if I don't do it, then it doesn't happen, and uh, I don't do it. So, so it's a habit I have to break, you know, because uh, I'm in the habit of uh, hit and record, and then as it loads, I I, I grab a drink. I should be drinking beforehand, um, and then you know, in the middle of the episode, if I have to drink, so be it. If I have to drink in the middle of the episode, if I have to hydrate, then so be it. I need to, I need to keep that voice alive. It's my. Uh, so it brings in the money. Not yet. We're actually really, really, really close to having money on uh, on Twitch. I was looking at the uh, the requirements for being an affiliate on Twitch the other day, and by the other day, I mean of course yesterday. And uh, we need 50 followers, which I've got, uh, because again, I used to do a lot of stuff in the past, and I got uh, a lot of people from that. Um, we actually gotten like six followers since I started streaming, so we're we're seeing growth. We're seeing growth, and that's good. It's very, very, very good. It's nice. Most of them have been friends, but friends, you know, people are going to be watching. People are going to be watching. I don't care who they are. Friends or randoms. I've got a few randoms subscribing as well. But anyway, I was looking at the stuff. we got to get 50 followers, which is like, yeah, so that's easy. Uh, eight hours of streaming in a month. And I'm like, okay, done. Like, that's less than a week. That's like half a week. Like, done. <laughs> uh, and then you have to have three average viewers per stream, and one of them is you. So... Because one of them is one of them is always gonna be because I'm watching on I'm watching the, the stream to check and make sure that everything looks good on the, uh, the stream manager page, and you know it'd be nice if that didn't count as a viewer, but at the same time it's kind of nice that it does. Um, but we need to have three viewers on average per stream in the past three uh, thirty days, which is that's not much. That's not much at all. That is not much at all. You know that's that's barely anything. That's that's nothing. You know. Um. But it's, uh, we're not quite there yet. I think we're at like 1.6 or 1.7 or something like that right now. 1.8 maybe. Uh, average viewers per stream, which again, one of them is me. So we're not, we're not doing too, too great on the, on the stream just yet. But uh, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're going to be up to the uh, three viewers per stream. I'm expecting it to happen reasonably soon. I'm expecting it to happen reasonably soon. Three viewers per stream is not very hard to get to. Genuinely, it's not hard at all. The uh, the requirements for for affiliate are very lax. And once you get affiliate, you're able to get uh, you unlock subscribers. So you're able to have people subscribe to your channel. Uh, you unlock bits. So you can have people like donate bits to your channel. You unlock uh, ads. So I can run ads on my channel, uh, which will be very good. I'll be running those in intermissions, and breaks, and whatnot, uh, as well as at the uh, the end of the stream, and possibly the start. So I have a a uh, starting ad, uh, some mid-roll ads, and then uh, ending ads as uh, as we transition between the hours um, on some streams. Some streams we won't be having the uh, the mid-roll ads. Like Death's Gambit isn't going to be getting mid-rolls because uh, no, no. Like I I don't want to take a three-minute break in between each hour. Um, I'm, I'm happy with just taking like a brief break every like 20 minutes to, to stand up or whatever and, and stretch around or whatever You know like that's that's the most that I really want to do with that And I need to make sure that I'm focusing on that uh, Because I'm not really doing that when I'm streaming. I'm not getting up and moving around uh, Which is a problem. It's a problem for sure um, But We are really 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 close to being able to start making money on this uh, this YouTube and Twitch thing It's not gonna be much if any right it's it's not gonna be much. Like you're you're looking at uh, like three average viewers per stream, right? How many of those are gonna be subscribing? How many of those are gonna be donating bits? Maybe one, maybe two. You know, we'll be looking at uh, probably by the end of September. Uh, maybe at most like five dollars of income, which is not enough to be to be sustaining myself on. But definitely enough to be super proud of, and that's that's like the most that I'll see. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be disappointed if I didn't make money by the end of September. Um, but like, 
Unless uh, some miracle happens, unless something happens that uh, that like you would get raided by some some big streamer. You know, some some big streamer starts hosting me just because uh, by dumb luck I uh, I end up you know getting like a thousand viewers from uh, from these people, and then I'm able to to keep a number of them in because I'm a, I'm a highly entertaining and talkative and engaging individual that people like to watch, and uh, I end up stealing all this person's viewers. <laughs> Uh, unless something like that, unless something like that happens, I'm not gonna say that uh, that I'm gonna make more than five dollars in September at, at like the absolute most, and that's that's already like a high estimate. So, but we are we are very very close to unlocking monetization on one of the platforms that we're uh, we're making uh, content on, which is which is really 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 cool, something to be proud of for sure. Even though it's not much, it's it's something, right? It's it's something. Uh, I have a bit of an advantage because of uh, my previous endeavors in streaming, of course, because uh, the 50 followers were very, very quick to obtain since I already had them. I have gained, like I said, like six followers. I I'd probably be able to get 50 followers by the end of September as well, but I just I don't have to because it's done, right? It's already done. I don't have to gain the followers, so it's easy. I've, I've got a bit of an advantage from that, but um, getting the three viewers is, uh, is still going to be a little bit tricky. And then, uh, then I have monetization. I have monetization unlocked. You know, it's like it's like an upgrade to the to the channel to a certain extent, because uh, it shows that uh, that I can make money. And it doesn't show that I can make enough money to survive, but it shows that I can make money, which is uh, which is good enough for me to to want to invest more time into it and uh, to feel good about it. Man, it would be the dream if we could get raided by some big streamer, though, eh? Wouldn't that be nice? I've been raided a few times, not uh, not in uh, in recent memory, not in the times that I've been streaming so far. But uh, every now and then, you know, uh, a streamer will pick out uh, you know some small streamers from the list and and just raid them and make their day. And uh, as long as you can keep those viewers in, as long as you can keep them uh, around and alive and and active and engaged, then it's a it's a very highly beneficial uh, thing to do, or to have happen to you anyway. Watch, you know, it'll be Monday, I'll be streaming Monster Hunter, it's gonna happen, and I'll be like, CALLED IT! Oh, hello, buddy. Really? Like, why are you so many? Why, look, like, just... All of you just right here, huh? Is this, is this the, 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 like, HVT hideout right now? Is this where, uh, is there a party going on that I wasn't invited to? I mean, I can see why you wouldn't invite, want to invite me, because I will slaughter you immediately. Look at that. The clutchest of clutch Z times, man. <laughs> I hear you. Don't think I don't hear you. That clot almost got me. That clot almost got me. He nearly had me dusted. This is a really bad spot to be standing, actually. Don't want to be here at all. Can I step on you? I can! Oh, I love stepping them. I love Goomba stomping, man. Goomba stomping is just... There's a there's certain gratification that comes from uh, from just stepping on something's head, you know. Mario really made it. Uh, they didn't they didn't make it a thing, but they uh, they made it the the whole you know thing of their game. And I gotta say it's it's just it's such a satisfying way to do things. It's, yeah, they they uh, they picked a mechanic, and boy oh boy did it work. Boy oh boy did it work. It's almost like they were paid to do it and uh, know what they're doing, and they're talented at their jobs. No, that's crazy. That's that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. It's a crazy idea. No way that's true. No way, man. But Goomba stomping is fun. Goomba stomping, you know, any game that you can Goomba stomp stuff, I'm gonna Goomba stomp stuff. 100%. 100%. I can Goomba stomp, I Goomba stomp, okay? It's like, uh... You know, if this, then that, right? If I can Goomba stomp, then I Goomba stomp. Just crouch. He can't. He can't. He can't hit you if you're crouched. It's a common misconception that uh, crouched things are a possible target. Which way did you go? Yeah, up there. Ah, we're not gonna get him, dude. We're not gonna get him. We'll get him next time. It's like uh, you, you stick yourself in a box. You can't be seen anymore, right? If you crouch, you can't be shot. Ignore that we took a ridiculous amount of damage. 
and that uh, we may not necessarily win um, because oh hi don't worry I ran you're dead dude you're you're so dead you're so dusted you don't stand a chance let let me do whatever I want where he didn't go where 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 did where did where did, where did he go I didn't even see where he went, man. That ain't. Oh, he probably fell down. He probably jumped off over here, right? That's my guess. I need to. Uh, if I want to be able to to face tank him, I need the uh, the deagle. The the Glock is not good enough to uh, to face tank. I'm afraid. Glock is not good enough to face tank his, uh, his bullets. I guess it does it does a decent job, but it's not quite enough to to get him dusted before uh, before he can do anything, you know. I spray, you pray. All right, the tables have turned. How the turns have tabled. How the turn tables. I actually like this area for uh, for kiting. This is nice. This is uh, this is doing really well. Obviously, I uh, for for like the rest of the game probably not so great because stuff would probably spawn up here and jump down on you and make a mess of your uh, entire life. But uh, for at least the uh, the patriarch, matriarch even uh, KFP and abomination. Well, not abomination. Hans. I can actually. I would prove it, but I don't have the time. I really have to. I have other stuff to do today. This cat's back in the game. But I, I could run forever. I want. I want you to know that I. Uh, my stamina is infinite, and my run is fast. Okay, so as long as I don't make mistakes, then I can. I can run forever. And you might say, "Hey, well, you can make mistakes." No, I'm too good. I'm too good. I'm too good. We haven't beaten evacuation point on suicidal yet, really. Bull. I call bull. It's got the achievement for it. I say, I say, I've done it before, though. I'm, I'm sure I've done it before. Confidence. It's, it's really weird having to, to record two, though. It's really weird. I think this is the third one I'm recording today. I've got one more after this. That sounds right. That sounds right. We'll do another one. We'll do another one. What was I talking about anyway? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch affiliate stuff. Yeah, we're close, man. We're close. We're really, really close. Feels good. Feels good. Drink. It's a good water bottle, man. It served me well over the uh, the time that I've had it, which is I don't know how long. I do not know. No idea. I don't keep I don't keep track of how long I've, uh, I've had water bottles for, you know. I just use them until they need to be replaced, and then I, uh, I replace them, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I got a new water bottle. And then uh, you know, like two months later, I'm like, yeah, no, I, I don't know how long I've just had this one. <laughs> it's been uh, like a year. No idea, man. I like having the water bottle because uh, it's better for you than. Uh, well, it's better for. Well, I guess technically by being better for the environment, it's better for you. But um, I like using a reusable water bottle, a nice. Uh, it eventually gets thrown out, it ends up being uh, pollution, but. Uh, I want to get like a metal one, it's probably going to be my next goal. Um, just to be a little bit better for the environment. I've been going for like cheaper ones because. Uh, you know, that's what I did. Uh, but I think I'm going to go for like a, a metal thermos kind of thing. One that's a little bit easier to clean. Because uh, the thing with these ones, with the... Uh, so it's got like a plastic sippy stip. And like, that just gets gross over time. And like you clean it, but like... It's just kind of gross. I, wanted, I want like a, a metal thermos thing that I just like drink out of like a normal cup. And then I just flick the lid back on and like, it's locked, you know? That's my goal. Um, they're just they're they're more expensive and and that's that's you know to a prohibitive extent uh, to ex prohibitive extent, so it's uh, mildly problematic, but yeah, it's better for the environment ultimately because uh, less waste and metal is also recyclable unlike plastic, which is not really. Um, I mean plastic is kind of recyclable, but not really. 
once this once this water bottle is uh, is past its prime, once it's uh, no longer serviceable, it's uh, it's garbage. It's it's going in a dump, basically, right? They've been worn out too much. Nobody will want to recycle it, which is uh, which is sad. You gotta be good for the market. I was looking at. Uh, I think I talked about this before, but I saw like uh, I think they're called the Greena, um, like uh, sheep things. They're like uh, they're like uh, plastic plastic wrap, like cling wrap, you know. But they are reusable. Then they work. From what the videos show, they work exactly like uh, plastic wrap normally would, like saran wrap normally would, but. Um, you get to just take them off and clean them and then reuse them and you can even stick them in your oven and like bake on them and like man this is just like a sick multi-purpose thing like sign me up <laughs> might buy some next month thing is is being environmentally conscious is expensive at times like these uh, these these wraps like you can get like uh, well being environmentally conscious and also like not sacrificing too much quality of life is expensive but you get reusable stuff so in like the long term it'll end up saving money but like it's uh it's expensive for now you know it's kind of it's kind of what keeps people from being able to do it so much because uh you might have five bucks to spend on saran wrap you might not have like thirty dollars to spend on uh, a green wrap you know and even though like over time you're gonna end up spending more on saran wrap like you don't have the money right now and you really need to wrap something you know so Kind of gets in the way a little bit. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You're coming up? Hey, buddy. Do it, dude. Do it, dude. I can't shoot you unless you're coming at me, okay? Then I can shoot you just fine. No problem. No problem. I had a Gunfire Reborn episode on... Uh, I forgot to upload it. I forgot to upload it. I'm so bad. I'll have to do that today, I guess. I'll upload the two and then uh, the one tomorrow, I guess. Anyway. I don't know. It's like... Uh, I still gotta work on getting used to all this new, uh, this new workflow. It's oh, so yeah. much more. It's so much more. And uh, I've said it before. I like it. It's just it's a lot to get used to. And I'm gonna be making mistakes along the way, and it feels bad to make mistakes because, you know, it feels bad to make mistakes. But mistakes are are, uh, are part and parcel to uh, living. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could get a raid from uh, from some large streamer. It happens every now and then, right? It happens every now and then. Yeah, every uh, every so often you get uh, somebody with like, you know, a few hundred viewers, and they're like picking out some random small streamer, and you get a huge influx of viewers, and most of them don't stick around. But as long as uh, as long as a few of them do, then you you, you succeeded. You know, you succeeded in uh, in growing, and and uh, you'll be a little bit higher up the rankings, and, and easier to find. And that's uh that's all you need. You just need those first few viewers to get uh. To a point where you're making progress, and but you know it's it's kind of like a thing that you can't rely on either, right? Like it, it does happen. We'll probably get we will probably get raided by uh, by somebody at some point. I I can almost count on it, but uh, I don't know, as much as I could rely on it, it just, it feels it feels wrong. It feels terrible to to do that. Like it just it feels like I'm. I'm giving up the control of my channel to somebody else if I if I plan around uh, getting that. It'd be nice if it happened. It'd be fantastic. It'd be a stroke of luck that uh, that is unheard of. And while it's almost certain to happen, because uh, you know I'm a good streamer. People like me. I've had I've had a number of people tell me about uh, how they find my content entertaining, and I find it. Uh, you're always your harshest critic, right? You're always your harshest critic. You're always going to be the person who uh, who judges yourself the harshest. But you know, and I re I recognize that my content is good. I recognize that I make uh, enjoyable content. You know, that's my goal. If I if I wasn't doing it, I'd be in uh, I'd be having a bit of a problem, right? I'd uh, 
I'd have, a, I'd have a bit of an issue if the, the content I was making wasn't enjoyable. As somebody who wants to make enjoyable content, that would be very counterproductive. But, uh, you know, ultimately I end up talking about, like, puking on the white carpets. And it's like, why are people watching this? And then I go watch uh, Northern Lions, like, uh, you know, grocery store tier list. And I'm like, oh, this is pogged out content, dude. You know, it's just, uh, I talked about it before. I want people to be falling asleep to my videos. It's just that's uh, nice content to have on in the background, I think. That's, that's my goal. And I think I'm succeeding at it. I think I am. I think I make content that people like to, to just let drown out the tinnitus. <laughs> I'm anti-tinnitus. That's uh, that's what this, I should just rename it. You know, Yamachak, more like uh, no more tinnitus. Put on some headphones and listen to me talk and uh, you no longer have to deal about tinnitus because I talk constantly and there's no breaks so your ears never have to go you know. Oh, it's terrible. You guys have tinnitus? I got tinnitus. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's only horrible because I know that that's what it is. You know? It's like, if I didn't know that anybody else had it better, it wouldn't be that bad, you know? But because I know that other people have it better, it's bad. <laughs> you know? It's like, uh... A lot of, uh, a lot of people were abused as children. Right? And only, only... I'm only talking about people who are, like, moderately abused. Like, maybe their parents neglected them a little bit more than uh, than they should have been, and it's uh, it's caused some, some long-term, minor mental trauma, you know? To the point where they go over to, uh, you know, eventually get a boyfriend, you go over to his house, you meet his parents, and they're all like, oh, hi, how's it going? It's so great to meet you. And they're like, wait, why are you talking to me? Is this what families do? And then all of a sudden, your life, which you thought was pretty good, is like, whoa, never mind, <laughs> you know? Like... It's uh, it's that contrast that uh, that really starts to Jesus, that starts to uh, to really bring you down as uh, when you have minor minor problems like that, you know. Not really that that's super minor, but hey, these are all them. We can, we can take them out. We can handle this kind of uh, riff raff. I'm not sure if I got that hit. Is it a scrake? Is it a scrakey boy? It is a scrakey boy. I did not get the hit. I thought, I, I thought it might have. I thought it was a pretty good shot, but... Um, but yeah, it's like, uh... You know. You got, uh, you got that contrast. And that's what makes tonight is so bad. Because, uh... You know, if I didn't, if I didn't know that it wasn't normal to have that ringing, and that, that I thought I'd, everybody gets that ringing, you know? Then it would be like, oh yeah. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd have I'd have the ringing thing going on right now. You know, it's just my ears are doing the thing. It's just kind of like everybody else is like, oh yeah, no, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. But what what really happens is like, no, I don't hear anything. You know, there's not there's no ringing. A lot of people have tinnitus. It's a it's an extremely highly common thing to have, especially in the current day where we kind of like mess up our ears with headphones and earbuds and IEMs and speakers and getting louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder, and louder all the time. And it's kind of mussing things up a little bit for us, but uh, regardless, a lot of people don't have it still. A lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. Um, so you end up with uh, a lot of people who can relate to you, but then there, there, you know, there are also the people who can't, who, uh, who have never experienced it before and who don't know what it's like to have tinnitus. And those people, I say, uh, wow, you're normal, freak. Why are you? Why are you so normal, normie? I actually don't. I think that uh, I think that everybody's a little bit of a freak. Yeah, no, it's not that I wouldn't call them. It's not that I uh, I wouldn't call them a freak. It's that I wouldn't call them a normie because I don't think anybody really falls into that category. You know, like there's always going to be people like you got uh, you got people who are into like. Uh, uh, you got you got like you know typical normies, right? They're doing school and they're they're passionate about school and stuff. Right? They probably got their own things going on in life. Too. Maybe they're super into gaming. Maybe they're like a League of Legends god or something. I don't know. I'm thinking about a specific friend, right? By the way, I'm not being racist. <laughs> I realize that it could be, um, but I, I am. Spe I'm thinking about a specific uh, friend, uh, old friend of mine. I'm not saying that. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, re I realize. I realize that it uh, that it could have been portrayed that way. Um, mildly, you could have you could have taken it that way. That's that's uh, anyway. Um, 
Yeah, every, everybody's a little bit of a freak in their own way. Some people a little bit more than others, like me. You know, we're a little bit more freakish, but I think that everybody's a little bit of a freak. So we're all a little bit different. We're all we all got our differences. We all got uh, independences and and hello. Can you guys uh, not be here, please, right now? This is a really bad time for you to be showing up. Um, we're closed, actually. This ferry is closed. Um, we're not running the ferries. Uh, COVID has uh, unfortunately shut it down. We have to keep up with the social distancing stuff. Um, we're not able to run. We're going to have to ask you to leave. Uh, if you don't leave, we'll have to use excessive force. He didn't leave. He didn't leave. I warned him. I warned him. Don't tell me he was in the process of leaving. Generous. Don't tell me that. No, he wasn't. Okay, he was... Uh, he was a force to be reckoned with, and uh, he needed to be dealt with. Can't have those people running around town like that. Puking everywhere, throwing up their poops. It's not appropriate. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.